You're listening to Packer Nation Radio with Nick Hatcher. This is Morgan Freeman, and the next voice you hear will be that of a man whose name rhymes with ketchup. Well, maybe not entirely, but close enough. Here he is, Nick Hatcher. That sounds like ketchup, doesn't it? <laughs> well, hello there, everybody in the Packer Nation, the 920 area. I'm Nick Hatcher with Ricky and Go Larry. Packers! <laughs> this is in-demand news, weather, sports, fun, all kinds of stuff for my Packer-related friends, even Bear fans. You're welcome too, eh? We know you multitask, you might be on the run, whatever. Take us with you. You can stop and start this show anytime you want. Just listen every day and come back and join us. I'm joined today with Ricky and Larry Lewis for all you, my Northeast Wisconsin 920 area code friends and Packer Nation across the world. We're here each day, Monday through Friday, to bring you some local news, Packer news, and events going on around the area, some national news headlines, and a few laughs along the way. So buckle up, here we go. This is our first show, by the way, and we'll call it the weekend edition, and we'll hit, uh, we'll kick off our second show early part of November next week. Today's show sponsored by <laughs> nobody. Uh, I just uh, started, but here's a fake one just for the fun of it. Want to find where your car is parked? The iPhone has an app for that. Need to level a bookcase underwater? iPhone has an app for that. Want to find the nearest murder store so you can go postal on your co-workers? <laughs> yeah, iPhone has an app for that too. Need to find the right mixture of fertilizer nitrates for maximum explosive impact? iPhone has an app for that. In fact, you get a bunch of geeks together, isolated and free from societal norms. You'd be surprised at the apps they come up with. The iPhone is not just for talking trash. There's a couple local news headlines. Appleton's making national news again. A Saturday Night Live bit with Jim Carrey as an owner of a Halloween costume shop in Appleton played on Saturday Night Live this weekend. If you missed it, you can catch it on YouTube. Two families are homeless after a fire struck a duplex in a residential neighborhood on De Pere's east side. Kenny Chesney is coming back to Green Bay, Lambeau Field, actually. Appleton's Paper Valley Hotel is now up for sale. If you've got an extra, se- <laughs> so if you've got an extra seven and a half million dollars laying around, like I do, uh, there you go. Meanwhile, Scott Walker and Mary Burke are duking it out to see who's the next Wisconsin governor. The governor. Seems like a a race to see who can spend the most money to get the votes. Yeah, thankfully we're not in the apocalypse dealing with zombies. I don't think either of them could last longer than a day. (laughs) Yeah, good point, Ricky. In national news, with crucial midterm elections just five days away, the president is being urged to make more campaign appearances. <laughs> yeah, by Republicans. <laughs> the Census Bureau says 81% of Americans over age 100 are female. Yeah, that's great news if you're a 99-year-old man that's into older women. <laughs> yeah, what do you call a woman with a boyfriend 40 years younger than her? <laughs> Demi Moore. <laughs> Guys, they're, they're not together anymore. They're not? <laughs> no. A study found a study found that 60% of millennials have college degrees. Yeah, that explains why all the coffee baristas in downtown Green Bay speak so eloquently. <laughs> True story, a judge granted a New York man the right to marry his niece. Yeah, the happy couple's now registered at jerryspringer.com. <laughs> An Iraqi millionaire is building a replica of the White House that's nearly identical to the original. <laughs> yeah, it's even got the intruders on the lawn and everything. <laughs> In sports, the San Francisco Giants beat the Kansas City Royals 3-2 to to win the World Series last night. The NFL got a dose of good news yesterday. The Broncos fan who went missing during last week's game has been found 100 miles away. <laughs> yeah, but the search continues for the New York Jets defense. <laughs> Tonight on Inside the NFL, the Ray Rice scandal prompts the league to release other unseen surveillance tapes. 
Don't miss the shocking footage of Tony Romo throwing six interceptions in a father-son game. That guy sucks. He throws like a girl. Peyton Manning teaching Eli how to act. Cool it, Eli. He's just getting to the good part. And Johnny Football teaching Browns fans how to play beer pong. Did you just see Johnny <laughs> Football, man? Inside the NFL, tonight at 9. <laughs> Only on Showtime. <laughs> Here's a little bit about the Packers. They enter their Week 9 bye with a 5-3 record, winning four of the last five games. Green Bay is currently second in the NFC North behind Detroit, who is 6-2, and two, and ahead of Chicago, 3-5, and five, and Minnesota, 3-5. and five. The Packers won at least five games in the last eight games of the season for the fifth consecutive year. After the open date on the schedule, the Packers will host Chicago at Lambeau Field in Week 10. It marks the ninth consecutive year that the Packers and Bears will play in primetime. In showbiz buzz, we're exactly one month away from the release of the new Hunger Games movie. Yeah, if you're not familiar with the Hunger Games, it's a story about being a fashion model. (laughs) Tonight, on an all-new Unsolved Mysteries, we examine the story that has everyone talking. What happened to Renee Zellweger's face? It doesn't even look like her. Did she get a nose job? With the entire country desperate for answers, we'll explore the dark theory that no American wants to consider. She may have gone on a diet or maybe an exercise program. Good Lord, not that. Join us at 9 for an intriguing edition of Unsolved Mysteries. Perhaps you can help solve the mystery. You had me at hello. Uh, Translation, uh, no one's offered me a role in years so I dropped 200 grand on cosmetic surgery. This day in history, the ballpoint pen was patented by John L. Loud of Weymouth, Massachusetts. Yeah, but it was nothing to write home about. 18, October 30th, 1894, Daniel Cooper of Rochester, New York, patented the time clock. And according to his invention, he was three hours late. The thought for the day, if you listen to classical music in your spare time, oh, I got this one, Nick. You're either an elitist or a serial killer. (laughs) Best tweet of the day. Yeah, I looked into the mirror this morning and saw my father. He he said to me, this is a window, you idiot. (laughs) For Hey920.com and the Packer Nation radio show, this is Nick, Ricky, and Larry, hoping you have a great day and a great weekend ahead. Tell some friends about us. Come back tomorrow. See you then.